This is London. Hello and welcome back to Retrovision and thanks so much for watching. We're carrying on with the series Great British Plains and this episode features the actor from the TV series The Professionals, Martin Shaw. You remember that? <laughs> Won't do any more. Anyway, he was uh, amazingly thrilled by this experience of filming this plane because he actually got to go in the back seat and they flew at low level over Wales and they had an amazing time. So when uh, we actually filmed him after, just after he landed, so he was still completely buzzing and his enthusiasm really comes across as I, I think you can see and maybe it is the best British plane. But what do you think? Put your comments below and remember you need to wait till the final episode to find out what actually happened in that competition 20 years ago. Quite surprising. Can you guess which was the best one and what the running order was? Thanks again for watching. Over 40 years after the Harrier prototype first flew, the idea that a combat aircraft capable of near sonic speeds can also hover like a helicopter is still a showstopper. For me, the Harrier sums up Britain's ingenuity and ability to innovate. Most nations with any kind of aviation industry in the 50s were experimenting, and some very weird and wonderful contraptions were the result. The Harrier relies on what was then, anyway, the revolutionary idea of vectored thrust. Who would have thought that having swiveling nozzles on a jet would ever work? It's such a left field solution. In 1969, men were going to the moon and the whole public attitude was what's new, what's next. And it was around this time the transatlantic air race was held where two Harriers departed vertically from central London and landed vertically in the center of Manhattan. It really caught the public's imagination. In a combat situation, the Harrier has a fantastic trick. By rotating the nozzles forward, the pilot can produce such a rapid deceleration that any pursuing aircraft would fly straight past, bringing itself straight in line with the Harrier's weapons. In fact, the Falklands conflict proved that the Harrier was a very potent fighter. The aircraft's maneuverability completely outclassed the Argentinian jet fighters. And during the three months of the conflict, Sea Harriers downed 23 without a single loss in air combat. I love this aeroplane, the lines of it. It's got a squat, muscular, purposeful beauty and anybody who's seen this thing in action couldn't fail to be impressed oh, wow. <laughs> vote for the harrier britain's greatest plane definitely